I'm Stephanie and I work for California State Parks at Lake Tahoe. And today, in celebration of Earth Day 2020, I want to show you how to make a simple yet functioning wetlands model with simple items you can find in your home. Wetlands are very important ecosystems. Just like your kitchen sponge at home, wetlands soak up water and also can slowly release it. And they are super important for keeping our bodies of water like lakes, rivers, and oceans clean and clear because they can absorb sediment, nutrients, and pollution. So the first thing you need is a paint tray. You also need a spray bottle filled with water. And to represent sediment and nutrients, you need some soil from your yard or coffee grounds. Uh, I have oatmeal here to represent larger pieces of pollution. I also have colored drink powder. And you also need kitchen sponges. And then my artistic elements, which include some crafty moss or lichen some rocks and sticks, and then of course my favorite part, the animal figurines. I have added the kitchen sponges. I've also added some moss and some sticks and rocks. Then I poured some soil or sediment onto my wetland, which could wash off of the riverbanks or from the roads. I added some oatmeal to represent litter. And I also sprinkled some powder from this packet to represent fine sediment, nutrients, or chemicals that could wash off of the roads or come from fertilizers or dog poop, that kind of thing. So now we're ready to make it rain on our wetlands and see what happens. So I have my spray bottle here and we're just going to make it rain. What do you notice starting to happen? And now we can make it pour. So, did the wetlands do anything to trap sediment or nutrients that you can observe? Also, did any of that sediment and nutrients end up in our pond? Thanks for joining me today in constructing this functioning wetlands model. Happy Earth Day 2020 and help protect wetlands near you.